Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, uh, I must be honest in saying that I can only concur with all my previous colleagues in saying that uh, spending a couple of days in the law felt is an absolute privilege for us. So thank you very much for having us. Right, um, Marcus uh, and Anu has invited us to, uh, on, uh, to, to join them on the roadshow to uh, share literally with the audience a little bit about a business unit within the first range table called Premier Banking. Uh, but before I go there, did everybody get your, your folders? If you didn't get them, I hope they come in handy. There's some more at the back there. Okay. Right. Um, as you can see, Mark is quite strict on the timekeeping, so I'm going to really try and stick to my three minutes that he's allocated us. As you move up in life, certain things aren't a privilege anymore. They really become a necessity, and that's why we bring to you FNB Premier Banking. Okay. FNB Premier Banking really operates as a segment under personal banking. It's been established some seven years ago with the key objective for, uh, for us as a bank to caretake the needs of high net worth individuals. We don't look after the commercial side, that's Brian's area, and Arnold's area, we look after the consumer side, looking after any individual that is qualified in terms of our terminology as a high net worth individual. Uh, historically, we've uh, operated uh, only in the metro areas with uh, regional suites in um, Western Cape, one in Durban, uh, three in Gauteng, and the area that I specifically care take is the one in the Chwane area. Now, 10 days ago, a decision, a strategic decision was signed off by our personal banking, Exco, um, going forward, extending the premier banking value proposition to now also cater for the needs of all high net worth individuals in the non-metro areas, which means that going forward within the next month or two or three, uh, we will be, be, be focusing on onboarding clients that are interested in joining Premier Banking in the uh, Mpumalanga areas, the Limpopo areas, as well as the Eastern Cape area. Okay. Um, high net worth individuals in our terminology is any individual that earns in the bracket between um, 350,000 and 1.1 million rand per annum. That's the area and the segment that Premier Banking looks after. Anybody earning below the 350,000 is catered for in terms of their day-to-day -day banking needs through the branch banking network, of which we've got in excess of the 600 odd branches across the country. Any client that earns above the 1.1 million rand, that business unit is called private clients that looks after the needs of individuals falling in that category. We also do have a lot of clients that earn substantial high incomes that prefers to be with Premier Banking because of our cost structure that's substantially, substantially lower. We also work very closely with our, our colleagues from commercial in servicing our mutual client base. Okay, so what can you expect from a regional suite? Experience a suite offering a post to a branch banking hall. So that, that's a very, very different environment that we operate in. Uh, across the country, we've got a portfolio of around about 200 and, last count, 236,000 clients that we caretake and that we look after. Uh, an absolute environment where it's warm, friendly, relaxed environment and, and an environment where we really pride ourselves as, as the business that makes the best coffee in town. So you can expect that coming. Uh, we've also uh, got uh, flexible operating hours, we, which is very different to a branch banking environment that operates for example, from 9 o'clock in the morning till half past 3 in the afternoon, where we operate from 8, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock at night, with extended operating hours over weekends as well. We've also got managerial availability at all times, which is something that, a uh, bit of a, a challenge that we've experienced in some of our branches, where clients go to the branch and they say, but the manager is never there. In our environment, we've always got managerial, managers in, uh, in the suite at all times. We've also got dedicated in-house product house representatives, which means that if a client wants a home loan, or he wants a credit card, or he wants an overdraft, or he wants a personal loan, or he wants to buy a vehicle, we've got in-house people which, which just fast tracks the application so much quicker. Okay, in terms of the value proposition, what do we bring? We bring a single point of contact in the form of a premier banker, which really creates that single point of contact for anything that you need within the bank, unless it's cash involved, then unfortunately we still got to process those transactions through the branch banking environment. But from a relationship point of view, we, we, we pride ourselves in terms of creating a very proactive relationship between client um, and the banker, whereby any needs, client needs, you facilitate through the premier banker who then takes it from there and run with it for, on behalf of the client. 
It's a very proactive relationship. We, we pride ourselves with regular contact with our clients unless the client doesn't need that type of level of, or level of attention. But whereby we literally every, every uh, thank you, Mark, <laughs> where we literally um, every month touch base with our clients in terms of analyzing his whole portfolio and extending the, the value that we can offer. So it is coming. So once again, from our side, thank you for the opportunity to share with you in advance as to what Premier Banking is about. I'm going to hand you over to JP Durant. He's our National Growth Manager, just to share with you the process should any of the uh, people in the audience are banking with the competitors at this point in time and that would like to switch. Thank you for your time.